being stirred inside their heart. Our uniting time has come. We and the Father are one. Soon we'll be with our Lord forevermore. The evening light is come. The bride is making preparation. She's hearing the shout of the King. The token's been applied. Give me with the dog's time. Praise God. I deserve it. I ain't, I ain't gonna say that I don't. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, Got a lot of preachers think they God's gift to preaching, I guess. Uh, and they never do no wrong. I check they it. they <laughs> get up here and they, they act like that they're they're it and nobody else is it. Praise God. I'm not talking about anyone particular person. There's a lot of them does that. Yeah. Right. If they don't preach it, they don't get preached. If they don't see it, they don't get sight. <laughs> but praise God, I'm glad to know that it's Him that does the preaching. That's right. That it's the Master of Amen. Praise God. That does the preaching. If you have the Bible tonight, turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 21. Praise God. I ponder on what to preach. Praise God all day. I just sit around. I guess I got my Bible about 2 o'clock. I'm sitting this year until Thursday. I guess almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> I, I read a while and sleep a while. I read a while and sleep a while. Yeah, yeah, you do, praise God. Amen. You got to read, you fall asleep. You want to sleep, you'll get the Bible and try to read it. You'll fall asleep. I yeah. guarantee it. Yeah. guarantee it. Everybody, ain't all y'all know that. He's sleeping too. I'll tell you, it'll pick you out quick. Praise God. It'll come alive to you sometimes, Lord. You'll be reading this thing, and before you know what you got tears streaming down your face, falling on, on the lid. That's right. I wonder how many men of God, Brother Burton, has read those holy scrolls. Praise God. It ain't like we've got it. They about Dallas. If we've been learning in Bible study going through the book, praise God, Ephesians and Colossians and Philippians and Galatians, we've been through all those books down in Thessalonians. And how many men, praise God, and women that Paul sent them letters to that they read them and they weeped over them and tears were bowed out of their eyes of the holy gifts of God's Lord. Yeah, right. And it was sent to encourage them, lift them up, Amen. and give them something that they needed. Because right. they were in dire straits, praise God, in need of a word. Because they were being tempted of the Jews, praise God. The Jews, we learned last week, get one of the happiest words. They fought Paul everywhere. Didn't want this word to come to the Gentiles. Didn't want them to have it at all. But thank, praise God that they can't stop it. Praise God. Hell can't stop this word no, from getting to us. We've got it in letter form. We've got it in spiritual form. Praise God. No, We've got it inside of us. Praise God. We've got the word. Praise God. I'm glad I know who the word is. That is Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And I know this, that when I go to him, he hears my prayer. Praise God. I believe there is power in prayer. Don't you? Sure. I believe there is power in prayer. I believe prayer can turn back, praise God, the hand of God. Praise God. He has turned back the hand of God many times, praise God, in the Bible. When Moses was standing in the gap for them, praise God. If he hadn't stood in the gap for me, God would have destroyed every one of them. Praise God. It started all over with Moses. He said, you get out of the way, Moses. Yep. I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> Fine. Praise God. Get out of the way, Moses. So, I'm going to destroy every one of them. Them stiff neck, uncircumcised heathen, what they was. What? That's what they was. Yeah. They would not obey the word of God. Always turn from the word of God. Always run after strange gods. Always fall on idols, praise God. Always find them an easier path to go. They didn't want to follow the law, praise God. They wanted to always wanted to some other way. When they wanted to ask for it to start with. They didn't want to ask for it. But God was going to speak to them. From his holy mountain, brother, right? They didn't want that. They said, No, we can't handle that. But you speak to Moses. And let Moses speak to us. Right. We'll do it that way. So God said, okay, we'll do it that way. <laughs> they didn't want to follow that. That's just the way people live. Uh -huh. They don't want to follow what God said. Uh -huh. give, give it to somebody else. I don't want it. Praise God. I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> but praise God, I, I, I love the word of God. I enjoyed last week so much. Brother Cumber had a wonderful God. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, I got to tell you about yes. what he did. He sure did that a great job. But the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. 
I read one verse and let y'all be seated. Praise God. In all things, whatsoever ye ask in prayer, believe that ye shall receive them. Amen. amen. Can you say amen to the word of God? Amen. 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 Y'all can be seated tonight. I like what I like what Jesus said here, brother folks. And in all things, everybody say all things. All, all things. things. All things. Is that what he said? I praise God, they've come too late to tell me that he God won't move me. They devil's come too late to tell me that I can't ask God for something other than God won't move. Amen. You know, that's what they want you to believe. People, people will actually tell you that. Well, you just ask for that, one. you ain't going to get something like that. Well, I got news for them. God still gets to move. He says, all things, brother. Right. To me, I don't know about I ain't the smartest fair in the world, but all things means all things. <laughs> Is that right? That's all right. things and all things. Right. There ain't no way to get around that. It's just the way that it is. It's plain English. Right. All things. Whatever you ask in prayer. Right. In prayer. Right. It didn't say him going out there saying, Lord, I need this. Don't mess with me. It said in prayer. Yeah. Now I want you to know, in prayer, with believing. Yes. More than just praying, you got to believe. If yeah. you believe, you'll receive. Yeah. Yeah. Right, pray God. Yeah. You got to believe this thing, brother. Bert. You've got to believe that God is, and God is the reward of those that diligently seek Him. When you seek God diligently, that means you really get after it, praise God. Yeah. That means you get on your prayer ball, mm -hmm. and you get some blisters on your knees, or you get some calcium on your knees, praise God. And you be out here when you went to the garden of Gethsemane and prayed till the sweat became as great drops of blood, praise God. Now, they didn't say it's blood. It came as great drops of blood. Big old spit ball rolling down his head. People say, well, he bled in the garden when he prayed. No, he didn't bleed in the garden. No. He was just, his sweat became as great drops of blood. He might actually believe that he bled when he prayed. He didn't believe. He didn't pray like that. It was sweat rolling down his face. His body became probably soaking wet for he prayed so hard, so earnestly. And that's the way we need to learn how to pray, and pray God. And God helped me to learn to pray that way, and pray God. Pray earnestly, pray God. Wanting something from God, I got to ask in prayer with faith, belief. Amen. Because there's times in our life, we're going to need that, pray God. There's times in our life, we're really going to have to get down to business. God said, God. Here I am, and I've asked you, and I've asked you, and I've asked you. Well, maybe you just ain't believing enough, ain't it, praise God. Maybe you just ain't believing enough because you ask God, and you're living right, God's going to do it. I believe you've got to be living the Word, though. You've got to be keeping the Word, Brother Pope. You've got to be doing your part. If you do that, and you ask God, in no way will He not give you what you desire. Yes. Ask for whatever you will. Yeah. And He shall be given. Amen. 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 what the Word says? Uh -huh. That's what the Word says. Praise God. That's what it says, Brother Bert. Ask, and you shall receive. Not, and it shall be opened unto you. Is that what it says, that? Yeah. That's pretty plain. He, he's plain Jesus. I like him, you know. He just one of them fellows that was plain. Yes, was. You know what? He didn't go around beating around the bush about nothing. He told him exactly how he was. Yeah. Praise God. He told his apostles that fought him exactly how it was. When they got out of order, they don't lie. He lined them up and put them right back in order. Praise God. Yeah. He's always getting out. They're not feeling kind of angry. He's stepping to his side. He said, hey. You do that. Uh -huh. You got to do it this way. Right. You got to do it the right way. Because you want to be an example to everybody else today. But you got to learn how to pray. I, I know Brother Pope was talking about Paul, praise God, the silence down there in the jail house. And I was reading that today, praise God. So God just confirmed what I was studying around all. Praise God. How them boys was out there standing for the word of God. That's right. Standing for the word of God. That's what they put. But that's something. You see? Oh, oh Peter one day. Praise God, without our preaching. And the Bible says that James, the brother of John, that had heard King with the sword. Praise God. Trust him first too with the sword, buddy, for the word of God. And they grabbed Peter and took him too, praise God, and put him in jail, and they wouldn't kill him because it was Easter. So they're going to wait after Easter, and they're going to call, they're going to take him and kill him too. Uh -huh. But you know what? Something happened, praise God, between the time that Peter got put in jail. Praise God, and the church heard about it. You know what we need to do as a church? When we see our brothers and sisters in trouble, yeah, right. we need to get together sometimes, maybe, and have us go firm. Something that we've forgotten about. Yeah. Something that's been forgotten about down through the year. You know that? Yeah. Praise God, baby. That's what we need to do, praise God, from time to time. Start calling a prayer meeting. Uh -huh. Boy, I mean, we keep coming to the prayer meeting. <laughs> then you can come and pray, just come and pray. Yeah. That's right. They didn't know with that. No, no. But my Bible tells me that the church got together, praise God, and they begin right. to pray. That's right. Yes, they begin to pray. Did, Rick. Oh, yeah. They, they said, Peter's in trouble. They then killed, praise God. Uh -huh. James with the door. Then shot him through with the door. Harry with the devil, but after killing him. After killing him, he didn't Hate him, didn't he? Hate him. Yes. He was wrong. He didn't like his 
Word. Being like Jesus. He, he was threatened with Jesus. That's right. He killed John the Baptist. Amen. What he did, he killed John the Baptist. Uh -huh. yep. He thought Jesus was John the Baptist raised from the dead. Sure. <laughs> That's what he thought about Jesus. He said, well, that John the Baptist done come back from the dead, man. He knew that John had power with God. You know yes, that? He, did. God. he knew that John was a praying man. I said, oh, Herod said, I've his throat. Praise God many a time. When he headed down there in prison and heard John calling out to the Lord, and yeah. he was scared to death of John. He was scared of him. Yep. But the devil tricked him into chopping his head off. But he said, Jesus, that, that John, he's going to come back from the dead, buddy. He believed in his head. He knew there was something about this that was real. Yep. There was something about prayer that is real. Right, I want right. you to know, this may not be real fast, but it's the truth. I'm telling you, prayer right, will man. change things. Yes, I say, church, prayer will change things. Yes, it will turn things around, just a little. Yes. It will turn your job around to where they'll start treating you like you should treat you. That's right. Praise God. Yes. They start turning the prayer around. Turn, they start treating you boys like you should treat you. Praise God. That's what prayer will do. Prayer will change the devil's mind. Praise God. And get him off your back. Praise God. Sometimes you need to brother folks to pray for the preacher. Praise God. Now, I heard pray for the preacher. He'll hold the preacher's hand up. Ain't that right? Praise right. God. Because I tell you, this preacher's been fighting hell. I, I thought hell was dead, praise God. But that's all right. I thought it was not hell tonight, but that's all right too, praise God. You got to be just an end season, now season. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're in, sometimes you're out, but you got to get up anyway. That's right, brother. Right. It's right. time brother folk comes. I know he's sick. Praise God, he got to preach anyway. It's time brother comes, he's sick. Got to preach anyway. Praise God. Time I come out sick, got to preach anyway. Time we come buried alone, that we got to preach anyway, praise God. So that's why it's so important to pray. Yep. Pray through the day. You don't want to get on your knees to pray. You can be washing your dishes praying. That's right. You know that? You can be running that back and sleeping on that floor praying all along. That's you can right. turn your music up, praise God, and start praising God. Start praying, going through the house, doing your little thing, praising the Lord. Mm -hmm. God said he got a little thing put on his ears like a radio when you catch his grass, riding around on the lawnmower. You better start riding along and pray. Now you have to start shutting on the lawnmower. Look at that crazy feather out there. <laughs> start riding that lawnmower and just shutting out. Woo, praise right. the Lord. Hey. Who knows what God will do? How many done that? How many ever go down the road and be praising the Lord, buddy? You feel the power of God get upon you? You start shouting after you. Have you done that? Praise God. Prayer changes things, church. Prayer changes things. Praise God. They heard about Peter in the jail, they began to pray. They got together in the house of earth, and they began to pray. Brother Peter's in jail, Lord. They're going to kill him. We need Peter. Now, God, he's the preacher man. We need We need him tonight, praise God. You need the preacher man, church. Believe it or not, you need the preacher man. It ain't me that you need, but it's the word that we preach that you need. Praise God. You can do without me, praise God. You got Brother Pope, you got Burton. But praise God, you can't do without that word. That's right. You can't do without that. You can't do without God tonight. Amen. Right. Sister Brittany, you know what it is to pray, God. Praise God. You know, prayer changes things. She said, Take some money to that. She said, Back there alive today. It's called prayer changes yeah, things. Right. You see, Burton yeah. and Larry yeah. and Jamie couldn't get to her down there in the hospital. Praise God, they were working on her. Praise God. And the devil would have set her up, but prayer changes things. Yeah, right. I'm sure somebody prayed, and God said, yeah, right. Prayer changes things. That's right. That's right. Prayer turns the situation around. No. Mm -hmm. We've seen that, Brother Burton. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen it many times. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Prayer will change things. Amen. Praise God. I've seen God move in miraculous ways. <laughs> Yep. Praise God. We wouldn't be here today if prayer didn't change things. Right, right. Is that right? The devil would do everything in his power to, pray God, disrupt us. Praise God. To tear us down. More time at church time. More time on church night. For the preacher man, it's really hard. I tell you, every Sunday it's really hard for the preacher man. Is that right, brother? I say you can testify that. Because I ain't ever at your house, but I say you can testify that. Praise God. It gets hard on church night, no. Yep. <laughs> Let me know that. How about you all here? Does it ever get hard on you on church time? Yeah, there's a reason for that. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Don't want you to come and hear the word of God. Because it's the word of God that's going to give you your strength to get through next week. That's right, praise God. You don't know what you're going to face tomorrow. Praise God. But I hope that somebody prays for me tonight. That when I go through something tomorrow, I can make it through. There you go. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Prayer changes things. There's power in prayer, people. Praise God. Power that is more like a metal bomb. Praise God. You ain't nothing like that. It can't blow you up. Praise God. And I tell you, it's more powerful than that. That's right. It's more powerful than anything in this world. Yes, yes it is. Amen. It's prayer. Amen. That's the most powerful tool that you have in your arsenal. Praise God. To fight the devil with. Yes, it is. Do you know that? Amen. It's prayer. Yes. You have an arsenal to fight with, and prayer is the most important thing in that besides the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's yes. to pray. 
What did Jesus say? He said, men should always pray and not faint. Right. Is that what he said, Brother Pope? Right. He said, men ought to always pray and not faint. Faint is to quit. Right. Faint is to take out. Praise God. To give up. That's what people do. They don't pray and they give up. They, they give over. That's why everybody backslides us to the reason for this is this. It ain't that you don't read your Bible because you come to church and get to work. But you need to read your Bible. That's right. Amen. It ain't because you don't come down and shout and speak in tongues. That ain't why you backslide. That's right. I'm going to tell you why you backslide because you don't pray. Yep. Yeah. You don't pray. And when you don't pray, you ain't in tune with God. That's right. When you ain't in touch with God, then God will pray God just let you go because you don't want Him no more. Right. Because you have lost touch with him. Because you don't speak to him. You don't sing to him. You don't never talk to him. Yeah. And when you don't talk to him, praise God, where's he going to be in? Ain't that the truth? Yeah. You don't pray. Right. Prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. It changes Peter's situation. And they begin to pray. They begin to pray earnestly. I mean, they pray hard. I believe they pray. You can probably hear them outside the house. Oh, you used to be the old timers. You go by the house. Yeah. You can hear them pray. Yeah. Huh? You ever heard them pray? You ever about somebody's half a year? Everybody used to pray yeah. to the top of their legs. Thanks, everybody. Praise mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God. Not the man of God. I mean, he's way down there in a strange thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did he do? Then he opened his window. That's right. He opened them sections up. And he prayed three times a day. You know why? Because prayer changes. Yes, amen. Yeah. And he opened it toward Jerusalem. Why did he do it? Because that's where God was at. Uh -huh. Even though God was with him. But that's where the evening light is come, the bride is making preparation. She's hearing the shout of the king. The token's been applied, it's cleaning from inside.